All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Test Man, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. Well, I'm not exactly sure who they are, but they would say to get rid of the riffraff. But I'm here to say, let's bring in the riffraff. This is the riffraff, the Wee Knives uh, riffraff, guys. And this comes by way of the Lefty Pass Around group. Brian over there put it in uh, for a bunch of us to see. The blue titanium handle, hand rub satin CPM 20 CV blade. And this is a great looking little knife. By the way, you're watching the Knives Fast channel. If you are not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe, that notification bell. Stick around and check us out over on Instagram with at Knives Fast and stay tuned. Now, this is flipping beautiful. You have this contoured blue titanium scales with these really cool milling marks here. Uh, beautiful contouring, distressed blue anodization. Uh, kind of looks like it was anodized and then like beat up with uh, stones. Uh, it's kind of random. I kind of like it. And then you've got blue anodized uh, thumb studs, screws, pivot, and then the same finish on the clip as is on the scales. Just gorgeous. And it comes a little bit sticking out of your pocket. Not reversible. And just a beautiful looking knife. I mean, chamfered off really well. Same color backspacer. You have these really kind of cool, uh, what amounts to sort of jimping. But it's really just this the divot pattern here. Gives it this, I mean, just cool look now you do have uh, a harpoony looking blade with a swedge going on here but the party trick of this thing is this blade finish holy moses this thing is so beautiful you have uh, uh vertical flats you have horizontal what looks like maybe hand rubbed uh satin um on the bevel and then you have almost like a diagonal up here on the um swedge just gorgeous uh and we're gonna talk here in a minute uh because i've already forgotten of who the designer is but i'm gonna look it up real quick because that's gonna bother me now um it is matthew christensen that's what i was about to say but i didn't want to screw it up uh, so there you go, Matthew Christensen design, and that is all the billboarding you have. Now, this is a 20 CV blade. Uh, this guy is not, ooh, look at that balance point. Uh, this guy is not super big, but I do get four fingers on it. Um, now you are kind of locked in. There's nowhere to choke up. You're locked into this kind of thumb ramp with aggressive jimping right there on that thumb ramp. So stinking good. Now, for me, because you have a finger well here, you are kind of locked to that spot. And you do feel, because it's short, a little pushed up against this right here. But if I relax my hand a little bit, it's better. So I just have to remember to relax it. But this blade is the most beautiful looking thing, man. It is just beautiful. You have the Wii logo there. Very nice. Now, you saw it, but let's just talk about action. It's thumb stud only. Uh, pops out. The detent is stout and perfect. Yeah, I like the detent. You are not shaking this mug out. Uh, it is fantastic. Now, it drops, as you can see, uh, to your thumb. There you go. Thumb out of the way. Comes on down. And did you hear that? It is a stout detent very very nice you do have uh blue hardware like i said now um as far as lock bar access you do have it you have a little bit of a pass through and a chamfer you don't really have to jam your thumb down there it is good i mean it moves easily the relief is good uh, you do have a uh, lock bar insert in steel very very nice you have heavy heavy milling inside uh, for weight reduction, very, very nicely done. Uh, and I love this big, tall blade uh, with a flat grind here and this just ridiculous uh, handle, nice and thin. Now, you do feel that clip a little bit right here, but it's not bad. Uh, it's not a hot spot, and it feels pretty good once you get used to where your hand needs to be. Um, now, 
shoot. <laughs> it is a ridiculous slicer, guys. You do have a tip for piercing, and did you see that? It is narrowed down towards the tip a lot. Swedged up here, narrowed down, and it just easily pushes right through that cardboard. No problem whatsoever. It is a material destroyer, and it's not a big knife. This is a small knife, and it just proves, uh, contrary to what knuckleheads like me say, that we prefer big knives, that you don't have to have a big knife uh, to go to work. Uh, this guy is a workhorse. Now, these are $259.25. Uh, I will put a link down below, uh, but you know what? Uh, I'm not too put out by that price. It is pretty stinking good for what you're getting. 7.78 inches. Now, again, it seems really small uh, because of, again, the way you're locked into this grip. But it's it's not super small, uh, but it's not big either. It's under 8 inches, and it's a 3.12 inch blade. The blade um, thickness is just 0.13. CPM 20 CV, he treated it at 59 to 61. It's a beautiful clip point with a plain satin, beautiful satin finish blade. Handle length is 4.16. Uh, the, the handle thickness is 0.44, so very thin uh, there as well, and it just feels great. Tip-up carry, right side only. Uh, manual opening with the thumb studs. Matthew Christensen design made by We in China. 3.41 ounces for a 3.12 blade. I will take that all day. Very, very nicely done. Uh, I am so glad I got to check this out. And to be honest with you, I really want one. Uh, I've just got this silly policy because of money being tight. Uh, that I don't buy things that I already got to review. I only buy things that I haven't reviewed yet. So we're going to hold off. Uh, I have I have a list five miles long of things I want to buy. If I bought them all, uh, yep, uh, I'd be in big trouble. So there you go. Your Ontario Rat 1 is quite a bit bigger. Your Rat 2 is about the same size. So now this is much taller, and you can see that's what I was talking about. And that's why you get this super slicey blade because the blade is so much taller. Let's do one more comparison because now I'm curious. Uh, you guys know I'm a big fan of nice tall blades, ah, and I'm also a fan of dropping things. Uh, very cool. Uh, look at that, guys. A very similar. Now it is. It is a little bit bigger than the microburst, uh, the Tempest Knives microburst, but the blade size and the grind is extremely similar. Look at that. Now you do have a drop point over here and you have my drop sheep over here or also known as a modified sheep's foot. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at, look at the similarity there. And this one's just a little bit bigger. Now the microburst has a place to choke up. Uh, this one doesn't. That's kind of your big difference size-wise there. And and uh, But really, really, really enjoying checking out this one. So the Wii Knives Riff Raff, $259 uh, over on Blade HQ. And I will uh, definitely leave a link. There are other uh, variations and colors. And I will, uh, like I said, leave a link down below. So guys, what do you think? Uh, I really am glad I got to check it out. Oh, pfft, I almost forgot important stuff here. Uh, it is very centered. Uh, the D10 is phenomenal. It's like a 20 on the lockup, but it is solid as a rock. No lock rock, no blade play. Phenomenal. So now we can wrap it up. So guys, thanks for checking this one out. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Uh, beautiful blade. And I appreciate each and every one of you uh, for all you do. Please do all the things like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.